What's going on you guys, this is MXKD, I have another Dell Optiplex 3010, this is the desktop, uh, considered as a DT, as a slimline with the same height but it's a slimline, and I'll show you guys, this is the be tear down disassembly, so we're going to move the side cover panel, and you have to get yourself some latex gloves, you have to buy their pharmacy, they sell it in any pharmacy area, any grocery store in the pharmacy area, or you can get them in your hardware store, and you need a... Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. So first we're gonna remove the hard drive here. And remove the SATA cable power. And you press the clip right here to remove it. And the caddy comes right out, the plastic caddy. And just disconnect, there's a clip right here, you press it gently and it removes it, the hard drive. Really easy. Now we're gonna remove the optical driver right here, the secure lock right here, press it up. Remove the optical drive and disconnect the SATA power. Now you're gonna remove the front cover bezel first. There's clips right here, you be gentle, we press them up and it comes right off. Front cover bezel right here. And to remove the optical drive, you can press this up again to remove it. Now remove the memory. Now disconnect the 24 pin for the power. There's gonna be secure lock right here in the middle. Press it like you could gently press it, the clipper, and it comes right out. That removes it. The 24 pin for the power. See right here. You press it down very gently, and it removes it. Secure lock middle. And there's one here in the four pin right here. You get that disconnected too. Right here. Disconnect the SATA cables. And now I want to try to remove the processor heatsink fan cooler. And there's going to be four pin right here that we get that disconnected. And on this one, it looks like it's a motherboard. There's actually a micro ATX in here. Now, what we try to do is disconnect some cables here. There's gonna be cables right in the bottom right here. You're gonna get that disconnected one right there. And some cables right there, get that disconnected. So move the camera up a little bit, so you guys can see. So, for the audio, USB, the fan right here, three pin internal speaker connector you gotta get that and the front panel looks like right here for the audio for the USB and the front panel right here the power switch is gonna be right here in the corner right corner now I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the motherboard first off I'm like there's gonna be two screws here in the back no actually three with the Phillips screwdriver I get that removed to get remove the power supply right there remove it Hold, got three screws to hold the power supply. So I get that removed. Now, okay, now we're going to try to remove the power supply. And it's really easy. There's a there's a secure lock right here, and right here you press it down the pin. Right in the middle, you press it down a little bit, it's gonna be like a blue little clip right here. Secure lock, you press it down a little bit, you release the power supply, it's a secure lock for it. And just remove the power supply, easy. Now, we'll try to disconnect the last part, be the motherboard. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's got six screws here. Two, three, 
and four. Five, six, six screws, and now so you make sure everything is disconnected, all the cables, all the everything is disconnected, nothing is mounted to the motherboard, and just remove the motherboard and just remove the processor really easy. You're gonna, there's a clip right here, press it down and remove it, remove the processor. Now, I'm going to try to, well, if you remove the battery, you need a flathead screwdriver, and to do that is, uh, sorry about, oh, shoot. So let's see, first you're going to, I'm sorry about, let me try to move the camera up down a little bit closer. So first you're going to do, there's a, there's a secure clip right here to remove the battery. You gotta press it down, let it in the middle right here, press it down to move the battery. Secure lock for the battery comes right off. Really easy. Just like that, remove the battery if you want to install another one in here. So we got the motherboard removed. Okay, the last part, we're gonna move the PCI brackets right here. See that right there? Get those removed. And there's gonna be a uh, I have a shield back plate right here in the back. What you do is just tap it with the screwdriver and it comes right off like this. It comes right off. Be really careful. It's got the sharp edges. You gotta be really careful handling with this. Make sure we're latex gloves because it's got sharp edges. You can get cut really quick. So that's about it. And it just has a fan right here in the front, but I'm not gonna get that removed. So we basically removed the two down the whole machine. There's nothing in here. So, yeah, guys, this is for the Dell Optiplex. I'll show you guys uh, 3010. This is the desktop. Thanks for watching. Bye.